Okay, we can start with some official terms and these are going to be the differentiation, roles, functions and divisions. So let's get back a little bit in time and I will show you a small manufacturing company that is making uh, tables. So here we have our table and there, there needs to be three steps to create this table. So three steps to create a table. So that at first you create some parts of the table, secondly you create the main desk and finally you put things together and there this company is hiring uh, three people, so three employees. employees and every employee is able to create uh, this, this table in one hour. So in three or in one hour three employees are able to create three tables. So in one hour, three tables, three tables. And now we are going to uh, some new idea that is uh, Henry Ford considered to be the innovator of. So Henry Ford has brought an idea of division of labor, division of labor. And what if he would be working for this uh, company that creates tables? He would make something called production line. So production line. And then there are three steps which are necessary. So I would make step number one, step number two, and step number three. And so that the material or, or the product is, uh, is flowing through these steps. And in the first step, there will be first employee, in second, there will be second one, and putting all together would be third employee. And it would make five minutes to, to make every step. Five minutes. Five minutes. Because previously, what was very time consuming was to move the product from uh, one department to another, and setting up the machines, and these things. So it was really time consuming. And now we are able to make a table in 15 minutes. 15 minutes. And uh, what, what, how much would it cost or uh, in what amount of time would be three employees able to create three tables? Well, if one table takes 15 minutes, then three tables takes 45 minutes. 45 minutes. And here you see the difference. I will highlight it. Uh, we have 45 minutes in comparison with one hour. So we have saved quite a lot of time. We are able to create one more table unless something uh, broke down. So this was the division of labor. We have divided our employees into different functions. So now we have some functions and they are doing some repetitive tasks so they are able to do them uh, much more efficiently. And this was the differentiation. And now we are moving to a new part, which are going to be roles, functions, and division. And I will start with drawing of a, a small uh, model. Uh, so we begin with roles. So we have got role. What is role? Well, I will I will draw or I will write uh, most of the official de definition, and it is the task be related behavior. So task related behavior behavior and this behavior uh, is required by the employee due to his position so we can say due to position in company position in company so that uh, this is actually the role so this is our role and now we are getting to more broad concept and it is the function. So we have function. And where we can see the function? Well, imagine that you would uh, not have just one employee in this role or in this step. You would have there several employees. So it would be function. Function. And how is defined the function? Well, it is the group of people working together uh, who have some similar task or similar knowledge. So it is the group of people 
working together working together and that they have some similar knowledge or similar tasks and now let's imagine uh, that the company is growing and now it doesn't create uh, just a tables it will create also chairs so this what, what was there originally will be called a division so this is the division of tables so we have division and here it goes and the, the definition for a division is a collection of functions so it is collection of functions whereas uh, these functions are working on same product or service so working on same product and if we would like to be even uh, more general we can say also that there is going to be uh, the organization so organization organization and that the organization is above or is a more general term for all the divisions all the functions and roles so you can see how it is uh, logically flowing out and out as the as the parts of an organization are growing and at first we have got some role which was this one employee who was working on the step then we have some function where we hired several employees working on the same task and then we have got division whereas we have set it a, another division for chairs so this whole production line was called the division of uh, tables and finally we have got organization so let's get back a little bit to our previous drawing which was about the restaurant so here you see some role this was the role then we have uh, created uh, some functions so this is the function of, of servers we can say and then we have created uh, some divisions so you have a division for kitchen and division for a, a dining room so you have seen how uh, there is a logic flow in the, the differentiation of labor and how it is growing to more general terms so hopefully see you in next video